Hey everybody, Bremont here. It is uh, quarter to 11 and we are talking about Colonial Down. So this is a cup of Colonial. I'm a little late, got off of a red eye from uh, San Diego. So you are seeing the complete unedited version, but at this rate, I don't care. I'm tired. I've been looking at Colonial Downs uh, in the Delta Lounge in Atlanta while I had a two and a half hour layover. Um, and we're just gonna talk a bit of racing. In Virginia. So uh, 145 is the post time. Uh, you can see my little um, sidekick right here. This is V. Uh, she is probably a better gambler than I am. I know. Don't brag. Oh, don't brag about it. So I'm looking at the first three races. So I'm just going to come out of the gate hot. I've got a pick three going on on the side as well, but we're talking about stable duel and um, first race going with Conagher. I'm not even sure how to say that, but this is the seven horse. It's going to cost you $8,000 three to one. So $8,000 in the stable dual app. This is a huge drop in class for this one. Really good works, more experience to any of the first time starters that you see in this race. Um, and first time Lasix doesn't hurt as well. Jack, Joe Rocco on good, good Jack there. Um, Michael Tomlinson is the trainer. So I would pay the $8,000. Normally I say, I don't like to pay a lot of money in maidens because anything can happen. Um, but this horse, I do think, uh, just outclasses the rest of the field, both by experience, um, drop in class, and first time six. I don't know. We'll see what happens. So I'd be spending the money race one on the seven, Conagher. Um, also, uh, might even be a single in my pick three. I'm not sure. I think I've got another one thrown in there as well. So going on to race two, um, if we're talking about pick three, I've got the other seven, Tijuana Brass. But... Uh, the number eight horse, I've got a plan. This one can give you a little bit of value. So six to one, $5,000. There is a short drop in class, but this horse just doesn't seem to get blown out hard, like ever. And again, you're going to have to find value in your stable duel picks somewhere. So for $5,000, I don't mind the number eight. I've got a plan um, also included in my pick three. I've got three horses in the second leg. I've got seven, eight, and two. Uh, so wish me luck there. But so now we're going to move on to race three. I'm hitting this fast, guys. I've got water in my cup because I need a little bit of a nap after that red eye. So we're just going to roll through these. Okay. So we're going race three. I have a Hail Mary here. So the 20 to one shot, the number one. Now, this actually worked out for me really well in another stable duel game. So here's to hoping, okay? This horse has gait issues, has had gait issues. So has had a whole month to not race. And so I'm hoping that the trainer spent some time bringing it from the gate. Uh, you know, it got fractious and the two races back obviously didn't do well. And then bump start, I don't know, whatever. The horse just needs some help out of the gate. But look at the works. The works are lights out compared to some of the other horses. So at 20 to 1, and again, you're going to have to find some value somewhere in Stable Duel. You can't buy all these 5000 Well, you could buy all the $5,000 horses, 10 of those. But you can't buy $9,000 horses every single race. So if you need a 20 to one shot, this is a Hail Mary, but it's the number one. And yeah, I mean, crazier things have happened, especially at Colonial Downs. If anybody was there opening day, I think there was like a super factor paid like 60 grand or something. Obviously I did not hit that myself, um, but crazier things have happened at Colonial Downs. But yeah, I'm going for a Hail Mary for the three race. It's Oh, hang on. I got to pull it up here. Palm Girl at 20 to 1. I'm just hoping that they worked a little bit of the gate issues out. But you've got 46 in its last work. You've got 39. I mean, whatever. That, the horse has got a shot. The other one, which I like, um, is Ignacio Carrera. So this is the number two horse, Chitara. Now, stats for, for him bringing horses in North America for the first time aren't the greatest. Granted, there's only been eight horses, but he's doing well at this meet. He's three in the money out of five horses, 20% hit rate. This is a nice filly. Um, you know, one, two times back has had enough time to like have good works, has decent works, 59 and change five furlongs last time out. Um, I wouldn't mind taking a stab at this one either. So $5,000 at six to one, if you need some value there, um, have an import. And we've also got a first time Lasix in that horse. Um, otherwise, there are some good 
closer, shorter line money favorites in this race that you can definitely spend money on. Um, that's kind of the cool thing about Colonial Downs is you can spend money on these favorites. But again, if you paid attention to their opening day last week, it was bonkers, bonkers, bonkers. I mean, you had prices hitting all over the place. You had 20 to 1s hitting 25 to 1, like baby monkey something. I had Jason Beam on, uh, on Tuesday. I'm having Jessica Paquette, who is their uh, their paddock analysis. Um, she's coming in tomorrow to give her picks. Um, so we'll have some some good insight from her as well. But yeah, I actually think race three is kind of fun because there's a lot of horses that could do it. And um, I just kind of looked for value in that race. But I'm going to give out my pick three. Uh, I've already said it. I said it while I was on the layover in Atlanta. And um, we're going to see if a pick three hit. I got my butt handed to me in Del Mar. So I got to do something here, guys, at Colonial Down. So if anybody's got tips, oh, that's what you have puppies for. Anybody has tips, let me know. There's the pup. Oh, man. I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to create them so I can take a nap. If anybody's got tits at Colonial Downs, I want to hear them. This is going to be a great day. We have two games, I think three games in the Stable Duel app. We have the $25 game that we had all last week. We also have a free ride. If you have never played Stable Duel, today is the day. Free costs you absolutely nothing to get in the game. $100 prize, whatever. I mean, you just get free money and you can, you know, get the strategy of it. $25 and then we've got some bigger games as well. But excited. Um that's my cup of colonial today, guys. It, it had to be short. I'm sorry. Red eyes are killer. I don't know why I do them, but I keep doing them. But tomorrow we're going to have an expert from Colonial Downs. Jessica will be coming on uh, to help and give some insight. And then who knows? I was going to find a, a cool guest on Wednesday, but three days of Colonial Downs, a 21-day meet. And today they have their handicapping contest, $500 entry. You can play um, if you're not on site. I'm not. I mean, you might be able to get in. Go to their website. It's Colonial Rosies. Uh, Brian Skirka is the contact there. There's a phone number and an email. Um, good morning, Lance. Hey, Brett. Thank you. I need it. Uh, yeah, so check out if you are interested in the $500 contest today. There still might be time. Get on in there. Um, tell them that Bree sent you, Stable Duel sent you. I don't know. Maybe I'll get a free hat. Who knows? But all right, guys, that's it for me. Um, wish me luck. I will put out my pick three and um, would love to hear your picks. All right, y'all. Have an awesome